Hello everyone and welcome back to our live event. I am Jenna and we have Anna here with us. Today we're going to be talking about Blomberg dishwashers and we're going to learn some hacks and trips and <laughs> tips um, from Anna about how to load it and some other things. I don't want to give it away quite yet. But thanks for joining us. Make sure you join the chat. Ask us, ask us I can't speak today. Ask us some questions. <laughs> uh, maybe you have some tips to share with us. Let us know. Uh, what else do we have going on today? So we have our Black Friday sales today only. If you purchase online during our show, you can save $100 and $150, depending on what Blomberg dishwasher that you buy. So if you see the products in the list there in the chat, you can click on uh, the save $100, the save $150, and it'll take you to a landing page with the exact dishwasher that you'll save that amount on. So be sure to check that out as we're taking you through these awesome dishwashers from Blogberg. So here's Anna. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so we have two models that we're gonna talk about from Blomberg today. Uh, the more I learned about Blomberg, the more excited I got about these dishwashers. It's a very old company, started in 1883, and they started making appliances around 1949. So they've got lots of experience. Uh, they became really popular in the mid 2000s um, in condos because their uh, dishwashers are very compact and they have some very special features that make them really good for, for condos and high rises. So. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, and these are the 24 inch dishwashers. Yes, they also come in an 18 inch, or they have models that are also 18 inches. Yeah. So smaller spaces, like you mm -hmm. said, you know, condos, high rises, those smaller kitchens, it's perfect for that. Or even mm -hmm. for your home, if you have a regular old size kitchen with <laughs> exactly. lots of room. Exactly. <laughs> and a few of the features that make them so great for this is they're all encased in stainless steel, uh, which means that your insulation is protected, they're quieter, and you're not gonna get leaks out of the bottom in case there's leak in the dishwasher it actually stays encased in the stainless steel which is pretty awesome they all have uh, DC brushless motors uh, which means that you're gonna have a quieter sound as well so these dishwashers vary between 48 decibels to 45 decibels and just to give you an idea a whisper is 46 decibels so they're very they're close. quiet they're very quiet they're very quiet you're not gonna hear this when it's on that's nice mm -hmm. especially if you have a big open kitchen open area you know, watching TV or chatting, friends are over, family. So you don't have to worry about the noise exactly. in the dishwasher. It's That's awesome. Nice and quiet. All right. So should we start with this model here? Yeah, let's take a look at it. Okay. So this model has your two racks. Um, and it has these very special drop down pieces, which are great for holding your delicates like your wine glasses. That's very important. Mm -hmm. That's a hot tip. <laughs> Uh, and also you have a space for some cutlery or some larger items here. On the base we have our cutlery basket. And you'll notice the inside is also all stainless steel. So you'll see some models that have maybe a stainless steel door, um, but the inside is plastic. This is all stainless steel. So some dishwashing hacks. Let's start. I'm gonna Tell us, Anna. I'm going to have Jenna actually load a dishwasher for us oh, no. in a few moments. I'm not even at home. I'm being put to work. <laughs> but, uh, so I, I was watching some videos on what people were doing in their dishwasher and things they should not be doing in their dishwasher. And to start, where your detergent goes in, always put your detergent in here because it releases at a very specific time. Sometimes you'll have, or you'll have a first rinse, which helps get off all the, the gunk on your dishes. Uh, and then your dishwasher solution will come out. So if you have a pod and you're just throwing it in there, you're going to wash away all your detergent before it's even time to use it. So use this. It's here for a reason. And you can put liquid or a pod in there? Yes. Yes. Okay. Definitely. What do you, what do you normally use? A pod? I use the pods now. I use the pods now. Yeah. They're, They're just easy. Easier, cleaner. You just pull it out, throw it in there. Throw it in. Not in, in there. No. In here. In throw it in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't want to give too many of the hacks away yet because I want to see you load a dishwasher first Bang. and then maybe go that way. All right, so I have to load this. Okay. Yeah. So I got my dishes here. I'm going to load it to what I would typically do and then you're yes. going to critique me. Exactly. Perfect. Sounds like All a right. fun... <laughs> this is a fun task. <laughs> a fun task. <laughs> fun project. All right. Yep. So while I'm doing that, you're going to go mm -hmm. over to the other model yes. and discuss that and I'll be trying to quietly load up for you guys. Okay. All right. We'll just push over some things for you. Perfect. 
now like what i might change up how i do it now because yeah. i feel like i have to really think so we are in the in the kitchen or showroom uh which means all these dishes are clean to start uh but if you are loading up dirty dishes at home make sure that you scrape your dishes you don't have to rinse them because the food particles actually need some of something to adhere to for the soap uh, and they do that on just your scraped off dishes. Now, of course, you definitely do want to scrape off your dishes because everything else is going to get stuck in your filter. And the filter is actually something that you do need to clean uh, probably about once a month. And it's very easy to do. They're different depending on what model you have, but it's usually just a twist and you pull it out and you give it a good rinse. You don't want this to get really gunky because every time you wash your dishes, all that stuff is going to wash back onto your clean dishes. You don't want that. So the first model that we talked about has six different settings and it can hold 14 place settings. This model has eight different wash settings uh, and it can hold 16 place settings. And it also has a couple special features, including a mix wash so you can put all your big items, your smaller items together, and then this power wash bar at the back. I'm gonna take this tray out just so you can see. So Ryan, if you can get down in here, do you see that wand at the back with the purple disc on it? Yes. So that's your um, power wash and the arm goes 180 degrees and that little disc goes 360 degrees. Uh, so it's really great if you've got a really soiled pot, put it in, this area of the dishwasher here and that will get it really nice and clean uh, this model also has some extra pieces that can bend and fold up which is great if you've got like a bigger casserole dish or something you can put that down put these down put it on top or if you've got more plates you can put them up and hold all of your plates that is a really nice feature mm-hmm same on the this top rack or this second rack here. Uh, there's also a few pieces that bend and fold up depending on what you are cleaning. And then, of course, this one also has. And they a just snap into rack. place, so you know it's secure. So that's yeah, good. it's not gonna. Once it's snapped, it's not gonna mm -hmm. twist around on you. And then the third rack. I love the third rack. Mm -hmm. This is great for like spatulas. Mm -hmm. You can put some lids cutlery knives whatever right yeah it feels like it might take more time to lay out your cutlery in an order but it actually is pretty quick and you know you're not going to get nesting uh with your with your spoons for example because they're all separated perfect mm -hmm. all right are you i think i've done i put some dishes in there okay so you're ready to critique me i'm ready okay let's see it so this is it. We also haven't, I don't think we talked about the outside with the, the buttons here, mm -hmm. but maybe you can just show that quickly. Yeah. You can see both models have the same. Mm -hmm. And they also yeah. do make a panel ready model. So that's on the end there, right? Yeah, yeah. Which, with no panel on it. So this is what your dishwasher looks like before it has a front on it. Uh, and in this case, the, the modes would be on the top yeah. instead of the front. And that's a really it's really awesome that they make a panel ready model because then you can put it into your kitchen it's going to be flush with all your counter with all your cupboards mm -hmm. and you won't even know it's there all right let's Those. see how i did all right okay not bad not bad not bad okay so we want to make sure when we're loading our dishwasher that we don't have things stacked on top of each other because think about how things get clean in here, right? You've got water and solution just sort of jetting around. And so if you have things that are layered on top of one another, it's not going to get in between those two pieces. So you want to make sure everything's separate. All right. So see we've got some space. This might be a little too close. I don't think this is going to get too clean. I probably won't get clean there either. Whoop, up top. I'm gonna put this back here. You turn these on their side. This oh, is gonna collect okay. water. So you you know, that's a last minute. I have to turn it on quickly and I have one little dish <laughs> yeah, left. You just so I'm toss just tossing it in there. In. 
Another safety concern that we want to talk about, it's not such a big deal with butter knives, but if you're putting in a paring knife or something like that, you want to make sure that the blade is pointed down in case you, whoever goes to unload the dishwasher is reaching their hand and not paying attention. So you don't want it themselves. facing up so the water gets at it a little better? For things like spoons or something or, like yeah. that, definitely. But if things like knives, safety comes before. Uh, All right. Well, I like to live on the that. edge, I guess. So. <laughs> If you are emptying and loading your own dishwasher, <laughs> that's a choose your own adventure. Yeah, choose your own adventure. Okay, <laughs> so I didn't do so badly. No, you did a pretty okay. great job. All good right, work, perfect. Anna. Thank you. I'm relieved now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some other things I want to point out just about the appearance of the dis of the dishwashers is that there's no branding on them. So they're going to fit into whatever kind of kitchen you have, what other kind of appliances you have. These will fit in really easily. Yeah. So some people like to have all the same brand, mm -hmm. you know, and after so many years, you might have to replace your dishwasher. So that's a nice kind of aesthetic there. Mm -hmm. That stainless steel is pretty easy to match and mm -hmm. you don't have any logos or anything. So that's kind of nice and sleek that way. Exactly. They all come with a plug, um, but the plug can be removed so it can be hardwired into your house and that's not going to affect your warranty at all. And to speak to warranty, it's one year parts and labor. One year parts and labor. Mm -hmm. And then also you can also pr uh, purchase our protection plan and you can choose the number of years that you want the extra protection for. So mm -hmm. that's an added bonus. Yes. And right now, as Jenna said at the beginning, we do have a special offer today for you just for watching uh, between $100 and $150 off, depending on the model that you choose. Plus, we have our Black Friday special on right now where Black you, Friday. Black Friday. Yes. If you spend over $999, you get an air fryer or you can choose an espresso machine mm -hmm. so this is the air fryer that you can get so that's also awesome so you're saving a bit of money mm -hmm. and getting a gift perfect time for the holidays yes. if you need one for yourself and want to be selfish <laughs> i would do that like yes. this is mine now <laughs> or if you need a gift uh, for your family or friends or even to donate something um, back into the community it was also yeah really awesome great okay what's great. next on the agenda uh, do we have any questions? They both look really awesome. Mm -hmm. And Jay Pizzle's in the house finally. Oh, finally, <laughs> stainless, you've been waiting for him. This is the best, so I guess mm -hmm. he's not a big fan of the panel model over here. I want to okay. know, Jay Pizzle, how do you stack your dishes? I'm curious mm -hmm. about that. You know, maybe sometime we should have you on to see how that you do. And uh, Tina is asking, what different wash cycles does the dishwasher have? Well, let's yes. check him out. Great question. So across the top. Uh, so this one has the six. You've got your Pro Care pots and pans, your regular wash, your China and Crystal Express Strike Quick Wash Rinse and Hold, and then over here we've got the Pro Care pots and pans Auto, the Mix Wash, which I was talking about earlier, regular wash Express Dry China Crystal Quick Wash and Rinse and Hold. So and this model's a, a step up, yes, because it has a couple extra features it's got there. Got the third rack. Yeah. Um, there's also a couple auxiliary modes as well. So a half wash is an option that you can apply to some of these wash modes, um, as well as the power wash and so what's the power wash? super gloss. So power wash is down here. We've got that third or that second, um, wand, I guess you want to call it, uh, that rotates 180 degrees and then the head on it rotates 360. So it's really powerful. Okay. So that'd be perfect for like casserole dishes, pots, yes. pans, that kind of thing. Exactly. As long as you put them in this space. In that one. So yeah. I'm not putting them on the top rack. That's right. Okay. Uh, there does, the other thing that's really cool about these dishwashers is that they aren't heated with a bottom element. The water isn't heated that way. So in a lot, in some dishwashers, you have to be careful about where you put your plastics because if they're on the bottom too close, they can melt because of where the element is. But this, these actually heat the water as it comes into the dishwasher instead, which yeah. is pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, Jay Pizzle is saying he heard you could uh, sous vide food in there too. <laughs> I haven't tried it. I don't um, know if I'd recommend it. Let us know it. how that goes for you. <laughs> or yeah, I've seen someone cook a salmon. Yeah, yeah I've seen that too. I've watched Red Green. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I, I don't like think I'll be trying that one anymore. You know what? I would cook salmon in this air fryer yes. though. What a you great know, idea. When you purchase over nine ninety nine, you get an air fryer or espresso machine. So I would cook the salmon in that. Not so much the dishwasher. Yeah. But you can do some other things in the dishwasher that you might yes. not think of, right? For cleaning. For cleaning, not cooking. <laughs> yes, yeah. you can clean your shoes. You can clean some toys of your kids. Yeah. Um, hats. Lots of things that you can clean in the dishwasher. 
Yeah. yeah. We're not doing salmon though. So no. we will not be doing an event, a demo on that. No. no steaks? Not in the dishwasher. Oh. No. We will be having an event coming up. I don't know if we've talked about our 12 days. Oh, we haven't mentioned that yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to give the viewers sure. a little sample of what we're doing? So coming up starting December 1st to the 16th, every weekday, we're going to be demoing a few different uh, gifts. That would be great options uh, for your loved ones, including one on sous vide. So, so yeah, Jay Pizzle, make sure you're there for that one. Mm -hmm. Potentially could do a steak. I don't know about sous vide steak though. No, it's good. I, I bet it is, but I don't know about that. Okay. Definitely not the dishwasher. No. We're not doing that. No. Seated steak does turn out really well, but the, you have to sear it after. You don't just you take You just it don't out take it out, yeah. No, because that that's wet steak. That's wet steak. <laughs> <laughs> so in this one, we can just pull them out. Like, keep that one open, okay. but this one doesn't have the third rack. No, it has the two racks. So you can see, because these are, you know, kind of their base model, you know, a step up. Just kind of show some similarities and differences. Okay, so this one doesn't have the flex racks like this, right? correct? No, it does have some of your glassware racks yeah. on top here. Yeah. The other thing that's fun about most dishwashers nowadays is that if you have a very tall stick or something <laughs> in here and it's going to interrupt this, because you want to make sure that this will roll freely mm -hmm. um you can lower or raise your top rack no way yeah hot tip that's cool that's pretty cool that also works if you've got taller wine glasses up top that you don't want to break great mm -hmm. another hot tip that i saw was before you look put your dishwashers in make sure you're not overloading your dishwasher first of all but give your just give them a little a gentle shake to see how your glass clings together and if you're at risk of breaking anything. That is a really good tape. Just mm -hmm. a little shimmy shake. A little shake. Cool. All right. So you want to go over like the different types of cycles again and we can... Yeah, yeah sure. So, so uh, it, James was to say that third rack is for asking if it was for silverware so it could yeah. join the little link. Right? Yeah. For sure. Anything that's like large and flat. Great yeah, for so I have a third rack in my dishwasher and use it for lids, spatulas, um, sometimes cutlery. Mm -hmm. um, it's an awesome feature to have. So just a little bit of extra room to get more in there. Except for, I guess I don't do that. I oh, just do, do this. You, oh, you do that. Okay. <laughs> so I guess uh, <laughs> I might be changing that one up. So yeah, I feel like this takes more time. It does take more time, but but you fit more, and they get all clean. You're not going to worry about yeah. Nesting. So don't do this anymore. Okay, I will try that next time. <laughs> now you're not just talking. But yeah, now I, I see it. how you can fit way more in. Yeah, right. Yeah, less. You know, less loads in here, and we can get more done. A little bit of organization. Mm -hmm. Save right. the earth. That's right. More efficient. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So we're going to talk about a bit more of the different wash cycles. Mm -hmm. Do you want to mention, just like over here at the panel ready, mm -hmm. um, you know, is it the same? Do they have a different... So... Four, five, seven. And then these are your auxiliary modes, which you can attach to some of these. Cool. Yeah. Okay. But it depends on which cycle you're you're on. And um, for details, I recommend checking out your manual. I know no one wants to read the manual, but it's full of very good stuff. And <laughs> in the Blomberg ma manuals, because I read them, uh, there are actually pictures on how to load your dishwasher and how not to load your dishwasher. So lots of very helpful tips and tricks in the manual. I guess manuals are made for a reason. Mm -hmm. That's right. They're full of very good information. So, and there's also... This is not the English one, but here's a table that's in all the manuals that tells you the different temperatures for each of the modes and what they do. So, and then also preserve your dishes. Yes, you know, preserve your the light your utensils of your when you use it correctly and not just put on normal every single time, right? So this is how to load your dishwasher. <laughs> Who knew, right? So don't just throw your dishes no, in there. No, don't just throw them in there. You're gonna break your dishes. You're gonna damage your dishwasher, maybe. Although it is stainless steel, it's very durable. 
That's right. So remember, today only we do have a special offer for you for tuning in. If you're in the market for a new dishwasher, maybe you want to give a really cool gift for Christmas mm -hmm. or over the holidays. Um, you'll see in our chat our product list. You can save $100 or $150, depending which model that you choose. So if you click that, it'll take you. You'll see and uh, you can decide which dishwasher is best for you and your lifestyle. Um, what else? We also have our Black Friday deals on. So if you spend over $9.99, you get to choose between a air fryer or an espresso machine. So as you see right here, this is the air fryer that could be yours if you spend the right amount. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any more questions in the chat? Nothing? That's awesome. So that was the Blomberg dishwashers, mm -hmm. giving some hot tips there. And uh, make sure you follow us on our socials. We're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We're on YouTube. We're pumping out some awesome videos mm -hmm. on there. You'll see some of Anna's stuff. Um, don't forget to tune into our previous live events. They're on our website, so make sure you check those out. And of course, as Anna mentioned, we have the 12 days of TA gift ideas. So we'll be doing that December 1st to 16th during the weekdays at 12 p.m. at noon. And there might be a few special offers if you tune in, but some great gift ideas and some very unique ones that you, yes. you'll want to see what we are up to. So make sure you tune in for that. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week.